Game six, Stiga lovers. Can Florida end it or can Edmonton extend it? You got the timer ready, bro? What? What do you mean you don't have the timer ready? All right, slight delay. Jimmer's already getting the dog penalty. Dog. Dog penalty on Edmonton. Dog. All right, here comes timekeeper. Three, two, one, go. Oh shit. Oh, Skinner. Sleeping, right? Oh, another point being saved by Skinner. Oh, quick bury, quick strike. Barkov. Barkov. Three, two, one. Go. Spinning shooting, point blank save again. Post. Mm. 
Oh. Oh shit. Missed the man. Missed the man. With the pass. With the pass. With the pass. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Two one. Oh, bro, you tied it up so late. Overtime. It's for the third or fourth time, I think. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh! Look at that thing hopping around. Oh. 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 That was near back. New death experience. Point blank. Oh. oh. Game six. Intense. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, he hammered it wide like a fool would. Mm. Oh. oh, bro. Stanley Cup. Went to the wrong team. But this is what happens. This is why they play the games. It's not always fair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The video's not over just quite yet because we're going to talk about what actually happened in this year's Stanley Cup Finals now that we know the result. The result in real life was nearly identical to our Stiga replaying of the event. Uh, Florida won in seven games in real life versus the six games it took in our series. It was a very disappointing result because I hate the Florida Panthers. There's a lot of guys on the team I don't mind, like uh, Bobrovsky, don't mind him as a goalie. Barkov's a good all-around player. Uh, Ekblad has been a, a, a really good defenseman for them since he was drafted by them. Um, but there's just a contingent of the league's most premier douchebags being led by Matthew Kachuk, of course. The guy's just an absolute asshat. He doesn't deserve a Stanley Cup. It's a disgrace that he has one. Uh, this guy is just such a weasel. Um, you know, he runs around diving, trying to engage guys. And the moment the, the going gets tough, he won't fight anybody because he's a coward, but he goes out there and fakes it like he, he is a tough guy. Um, and somehow the refs, a lot of the time, still get drawn in and giving other people penalties when he's involved, right? I think some guys have maybe started to figure it out, but a player like that is a prime example of what is wrong with the league now. Um, with with the physicality and the fighting especially being cut down um, I would love to see somebody just go out and deal with this guy once and for all you know what I mean um, Sam Bennett's another guy just a cheap shot artist a weasel uh, the fact that these two guys have the Stanley Cup now is is just fucking uh, like I said it's disgraceful so to me the Stanley Cup didn't happen this year if Edmonton had a one it would have been exact the exact opposite now the series although it started on a very a uh, grim note <laughs> it ended up being very very interesting in the end because Florida went up three games to nothing and you know when a team goes up three games to nothing like what are the odds the other team can win four in a row in the hardest series of the entire year to come back and claim a cup right it's happened before 
but only once or twice. And it, the last time it happened was way back in the 40s. I can't remember. I know the Leafs did it one time in the 40s. I think there might have been somebody else, maybe the Red Wings or something. But it's only happened a couple times and not for a long, long time. So Edmonton battled back. They won the next three. They forced a game seven. And some of their, like, Florida's wins over Edmonton were closer games, whereas Edmonton's wins over Florida were more beatdowns. I think one of them was 8-1, 5-1 sort of thing. So Edmonton all of a sudden figured them out. And, but despite figuring them out, it's still, even though you've won three in a row and you've got the momentum, you know, it's hard to win uh, consistently that many games in a row in the playoffs, especially at this point in the playoffs. So game seven was... Um, very close uh Edmonton actually should have won the game they were the better team for the bulk of the night with the better chances the better zone time uh but uh I can't remember if it was near the end of the second or the start of the third uh it was 1-1 and it had been 1-1 for a while and Florida scored a goal from not from a long long range but just a wrist shot from a from a distance and it beat Skinner um short side on the glove side and it wasn't a terrible goal, but it wasn't a good goal. You know, it was one of those ones that you felt he probably should have had. Um, now, he played great for most of the series, but uh, as soon as that one went in and it was a weaker goal, I, I was like, oh, fuck, I think that's it. Like, uh, when you have such a close game like that, and then later in the game, a goal like that goes in, it's uh, you just get that feeling that, oh, fuck, that's, that's going to be the winner. You know, that's going to be it. And it did. It held up. Um, as the winner, Edmonton pulled their goalie. Uh, they got a couple chances, I think, not long after pulling him. But then near the end, they just couldn't. They just couldn't get possession and, and generate any more chances in the in the last uh, little bit there with the goalie out. And uh, yeah, Florida ended up taking it in seven games. So it's too bad. Uh, like I said, I hate the Florida Panthers. And nothing against the Panthers franchise in general. I just don't like a small chunk of the players they have. And I mean, every team that wins the cup every year, whether I like the team or not, even good teams that I want to win may have a player or two that I'm not overly fond of, but it's fine. You know, um, it's a good team to win the cup. And if those couple guys get a cup, well, whatever, they're not that bad. But this is a case of these guys are that bad. And Florida winning the cup this year was probably one of the very worst cases. You know, the only... Worst case than that is maybe if Montreal had got in and won the cup. You know what I mean? Like, that's how bad it is, Florida winning the cup this year. So, uh, but either way, our series rang true to life. Florida wins in both versions of this 2024 Stanley Cup Finals. And to send you off into the uh, very dregs of this video, I'm going to put up some images from the Stanley Cup Finals. I tried to keep Kachuk and Bennett out of the pictures because I don't, I don't want to fucking have them on my channel at all because i can't stand them but uh yeah an interesting cup series but not a good one when all was said and done maybe next time maybe next year hey i say that every fucking year toodles Meow.